Hi there. How are you doing? Okay, today I'm back to take you through a very powerful formula developed by Google. Okay, the formula is called the array formula. Okay, but before I take you through, please note that the video is provided by Mr. Fofana who under his body call Lanfo Accountancy and Consultancy Associates provides trainings for finance professionals, audit professionals, administrative professionals. Okay, so uh, we specialize in capacity building training for staff of institutions. We recently concluded one, as you can see. Um, these are for the staff of um, Gambia Revenue Authority, Gambia International Airlines, Gambia Radio and Television Services, and uh, Ministry of um, Environment. Okay, so if you want to be part of professionally trained staff on how to use spreadsheets, particularly Google Sheet online spreadsheet and Excel spreadsheets up to advanced level, please do not hesitate to contact us. We have one training coming, coming up by end of this month. So if you want to join, please do not hesitate to contact us. Um, we're going to move to RA formula, okay? So, like I said, RA formula is a very powerful formula that was developed by Google. Um, I think it came to be a couple of months ago. Um, it is not available with Microsoft Excel. Okay, it is not available with Microsoft Excel. Um, so, I'm going to take you through RA formula. So, as you can see on my data table here, this is a table that records inventory, okay, stock items for stationery. Okay, this could be, um, for example, um, stationery that have been bought and uh, you want to compute them, you want to summarize them in a ledger. So usually when we are um, calculating this, for example, our cost column, you know, we're going to take the quantity multiplied by the unit price. So the way we are all used to is to do a formula here on the first cell that has got the, uh, the numbers that has got the records, that's on the G6. So we're going to do a formula, say equals, okay, look at um, one advantage of uh, Google Sheet, look at it, once I press equals, it has just what I wanted to do. Can you see? It says equals E6 multiplied by F6, and that's exactly what I wanted. So uh, to be honest, Google Sheet is just powerful, you know. Um, this is also not available with um, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so since this is exactly what I wanted, I'm just going to enter. So this is with the help of uh, AI, artificial intelligence. So I'm just going to enter. So once I enter, um, if I want this to be replicated to all the cells at the bottom, I just need to click on the next one. Once I click on the next one, look at it, it's giving me the autofill suggestion. So if I definitely want to autofill this, I just click on the tick. Okay, so this is beautiful. This has been done for me. So this is the way we will do it. But the problem with this is if tomorrow, let's say we want to insert some rows somewhere, we insert a row here, the formula will not automatically uh, the formula will not be replicated automatically. Can you see? There is no formula here. You see, you have formula here. Can you see in the formula bar? You have formula here. You have formula on all of them. But then 
the new row that I inserted, there is no formula. Okay, so that's one disadvantage of this traditional way of doing our calculations with ranges. Uh, and secondly, the areas that have not got any number yet, unless we replicate it, will also not have formulas. Okay? So, this is not bad, but then it's not efficient. It's not smart at all. So, let's look at how we can use the array formula to automate our calculations. Okay? So, I have deleted the calculations. Now I'm going to insert the array formula. So the array formula will also start from the very first record. That's from row 6, G6 in particular. So I'm going to enter the array formula there. So just watch how it's going to work. And simply, just like the name applies, it is going to be called array formula also. So we start all formulas in Excel or Google Sheet starts with an equal. So we press equals. Once we say equals, we're going to type array. So you don't have to remember the spelling that much. But once you type ARR, -R, just AR, then the formulas that start with AR would display. These are three, as, can, as we can see here. A R A B I C is a formula for Arabic. Then we have array formula. Then we have array constraint. So what we are interested in is array formula. So what you do is just click on the array formula once. The formula is going to be selected for you and a bracket open for you. This is a lot better if you have to type the formula in full. Good. So We've started the formula. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move to include the ranges. So watch out for one thing. In order to find our cost, we are multiplying the quantity by the unit price. So array formula will do one formula which will not be replicated, but it will be one formula in one cell that is um, G6, the formula will be in G6 and it will automatically replicate itself as commanded. Okay, so we say equals array formula. Uh, we're going to start with the first quantity. The first quantity is on a cell called E6. So we're going to say E6 all the way to where we want it to. Let's assume that we want um, to start from E6 all the way down up to the last, last, last row of the spreadsheet. So to code that on Google Sheet, we say E6 to E, meaning from E6 to infinity. Okay? Um, this is not possible with Excel. Excel, you have to state the full cell reference. So you cannot say E6 to E in Excel. It won't accept it. But you could say E6 to say E10, E6 to E200,000, E6 to E1 million or whatever. You have to state the full cell reference. But with Google Sheet, it is possible. So we say from E6 to E, multiplied by the multiplication sign is the star. Um, of course, it's going to be the unit price. So the unit price, the first unit price is from F6. So we click on F6. The same thing here also, we're going to indicate from F6 from the first unit price to the last, wherever the last is going to be. Okay, so F6 to F. Okay, so once you click F6 to F, you see everything is going to be highlighted. When you come down, it's going to be highlighted up to, can you see? It's going to be highlighted up to the rows, the maximum row here. And the maximum row, as you can see, is 1,000. So even if you add another 1,000, 
let's see how it's going to be so we have at the moment 1000 so add another 1000 so we click on this okay look at it look at it okay so we add another 1000 actually we need to we need to close the bracket and uh, enter for this to take effect so i'm going to close the bracket okay once i close the bracket look at what's going to happen it has gone beyond the 1000 okay it has gone beyond the 1000 so let me just enter it completely okay so we'll see now look at the formula it has gone up to let's see okay let me just take this and drag it it's faster can you see it has gone up to 2000 okay and once if you click on it you will not see any formula so let's say we want to tomorrow we want to add extra 1000 we just come here look at it it has stopped at 2000 because that's the last row that's the last row so we're going to add extra 1000 so we click on add 1000 and it's going to go up to 3000 so this is going to continue up to infinity right so um Let's go back to where the formula is. Okay, so you see the formula is on only one cell that is the starting G6. So you see, once I click on G6, that is the formula. Equals array formula E6 to E multiplied by F6 to F. So this is the magic formula that is applied to only one cell and it's replicated all over the place so can you see once i click on the second one can you see any formula no i click on the third one you click on up to the last one you won't see any formula okay but it has got one disadvantage and that is from the starting of the formula up to the end you don't have to type anything there if you type anything there the formula is going to undo itself so let's see how this is going to work so let's say we mistakenly type something here once you enter look at the formula it has gone off you see now it's indicating an error message so it won't accept uh, for anyone to uh, uh, trespass on its way so that one you have to know that so once I undo this, look at the formula, it has come back. Okay. So this is the beauty of the array formula. And the array formula, it doesn't mean it is applicable to only multiplication, but it's applicable to any of the functions. Um, addition, subtraction, division is applicable in all instances. It is a situation whereby you have to multiply ranges so instead of doing one you instead of doing your multiplication or your addition on one cell and replicating you do it only once and it just works like a cancerous cell <laughs> if you like okay so um this is where we're going to end for today um i hope you enjoyed um this lesson so like i said um if you want to learn more of this please subscribe to my youtube channel and then if you live in the gambia west africa don't miss out on our trainings okay uh, we usually conduct trainings at least every other month okay trainings on spreadsheets particularly excel and uh, microsoft from beginner to advanced levels and uh, the advantage we have is as chartered accountants, as administrators, we train you on the job. We train you on things that are relevant to your job so that your performance and your productivity can be boosted. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.